This beautiful vine is our native coral honeysuckle, Lanicera sempervirens. Now you'll see this beautiful vine growing out in wooded areas, usually on the edge of woods, where they're pollinated by hummingbirds. But this vine is not growing in the woods. This vine is stuck in a very harsh situation. Now there's a page fence behind here, a hurricane fence behind here, that this vine has been planted on to screen a trash area, and it's doing a really good job of it. It's planted in a narrow strip of soil between this asphalt parking lot and this concrete curb. And yet look at this vine. I have watched this vine grow for eight or 10 years in this location and it always holds up and stays beautiful. It gets absolutely no care. Nobody waters it, nobody fertilizes it. And it's really been left to grow on its own. Now vines can be trained a little bit more than this one has. You can wee weave these down through the fence to get more fullness down here. You can actually let the vine cascade down and train it lower because you can see this has gotten rather bare at the base here. But you can also put some shrubs in front of a vine like this if you'd like to. Now the coral honeysuckle blooms best in full sun, but it will take part shade. As I mentioned earlier, hummingbirds will flock to this vine. This was designed for hummingbirds to feed on. The foliage is evergreen, beautiful, and has a lovely silver back to it. So if you're looking for a tough, well-behaved native vine for your landscape, the coral honeysuckle is one I can recommend very highly. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.